The recent data update to Oncomine includes several cell line panel datasets published by scientists at the Sanger Center and the Broad Institute. Searching Oncomine by either author, first author, or by the term CCLE or Sanger will retrieve these datasets. From these datasets, drug sensitivity signatures were generated and are available in Oncomine for hundreds of drugs. These analyses can be used to identify patient populations that may be sensitive to a particular targeted drug, identify bio novel biomarkers to stratify patients for treatment, and cell lines that can be used as models. To begin looking for predictive biomarkers using these new analyses, select the recently added datasets filter under Primary Filters, Dataset Type. The first dataset shown is Baratina cell line, which contains 917 cell lines. The Baratina cell line is the Cancer Cell Line Encyclopedia, published by scientists from the Broad Institute. The drug sensitivity analyses comparing sensitive cell lines to resistant cell lines within multiple cancer types are shown. Browsing and highlighting the drug sensitivity analyses within each cancer type will retrieve a heat map to the right, displaying genes ranked by statistical significance for overexpression in the drug sensitive class compared to the drug-resistant class for the particular compound of interest. Gene expression in these analyses is independent of drug treatment and represents the native biology that is active in the cancer cell lines that respond to the particular drug. In order to identify potential biomarkers of sensitivity to a particular drug class, searching on the target name or drug name will return options to select specific analyses. To choose MEK inhibitors, type MEK into the search box and identify the analysis type of interest. MEK inhibitor CI1040 sensitivity analysis type can be selected from the autocomplete menu. With this analysis type added to your filters, you will then observe the specific analyses for that drug. We can add additional MEK inhibitors in the same manner by typing MEK and selecting in the next case the PD compound sensitivity analysis type. MEK inhibitors are often useful when treating RAS-RAF activated cancers because MEK is downstream of RAS-RAF activation in the MAP kinase pathway. Thus, Patients with RAS-RAF mutations and other pathway member activation upstream of MEK may be sensitive to MEK inhibitors. In order to broaden the therapeutic potential of a MEK inhibitor, we can identify candidate biomarkers for MEK-sensitive populations by comparing MEK inhibitor sensitive versus resistant expression across all cancer cell lines for these multiple MEK inhibitors. Within the Baratina cell line study and the Garnet cell line study, datasets, we select sensitivity analyses of these MEK inhibitors in order to prioritize genes that are consistently overexpressed in each sensitive population. Using the checkboxes to the left of each analysis, we can select the PD compound in the Baratina cell line study, the CI1040 compound in the Garnet cell line study, and the PD compound tested again in the Garnet cell line panel. In this example, we are looking at the analyses across all of the cancer types and all of the cell lines and comparing to find common sets of genes. This comparison is a meta-analysis across the three analyses that we selected. In this meta-analysis, we rank genes by the median gene rank across all of the analyses. The number one gene in our list, in this case, is DUSP6, the dual specificity phosphatase. As we mouse over each cell, we see that DUSP6 is the number one gene in the PD compound in the Baratina cell line analysis in column one, the CI1040 sensitive analysis in Garrett, and the number one again in the PD compound analysis in the Garnet cell line study.
This result means that there are no other genes in these analyses that have better statistical significance for overexpression assessed by p-value than DUS6 when comparing MEK-sensitive to MEK-resistant cell lines. This gives us confidence that DUSP6 is repeatedly overexpressed in populations sensitive to several different MEK inhibitors. Now that we've identified DUSP6, we can further investigate this potential biomarker by performing a gene search in Angamine and navigating to the summary view from the Other Views menu. In our summary view, all of the significant results for DUSP6 across all the Oncomine analyses by the general cancer type on the left and by analysis type on the top. We have a statistical threshold that we can adjust to show fewer results or more results depending on statistical stringencies. From this summary map, we see quite a bit of activity in terms of overexpression of DUSP6 as shown in red cells in multiple analysis types, head and neck, in melanoma, in sarcoma, in molecular subtypes in breast cancer, and in a number of mutation subtypes and other drug sensitivity signatures. To explore dusp 6 relationship to other MAP kinase pathway members, we can select under the analysis type differential expression analysis, pathway and drug analysis, perturbation analyses, transfection experiments. These transfection experiments are experiments where an activated oncogene has been transfected into a cell line and differential expression signatures are generated in Oncomine by comparing this transfection to control. Here we see the top ranked results for DUSP6 overexpression in transfection experiments in the Chang cell line study in HRAS transfections, in Crichton cell line study, in ERB2 and EGFR transfections, as well as MEK transfection. In the BUILD cell line study, we see overexpression of DUSP6 in HRAS transfections, and in the Collado cell line study, we see overexpression of DUSP6 is 23 fold in MEK transfections. From these results, we understand that DUSP6 is overexpressed when the MAP kinase pathway is activated experimentally by these transfections. It is known that DUSP6 overexpression is a feed me mechanism from an activated MAP kinase pathway mechanism, and DUSP6 as a dual specificity phosphatase is attempting to shut down this pathway. Furthermore, in December of 2011, GlaxoSmithKline scientists published their findings in Molecular Cancer Therapeutics Journal identifying DUSP6 as a single gene whose expression was associated with sensitivity of their MEK inhibitor, GSK112012, and lack of expression of DUSP6 associated with resistance to this compound, independent of the mutational status, RAF-RAS mutational status, of these samples. This discovery allowed them to expand the indication for their MEK inhibitor by utilizing DUSP6 as a predictive biomarker in RAS-RAF wild-type patients. By selecting the Garnet cell line study, we can see all of the samples in the Garnet cell line dataset and values of DUSP6 in each of these samples. We can export out from the export menu the dataset detail, which includes all of the DUSP6 expression data, as well as all of the sample information. In the pull-down menu under Group By, in the visualization, one can see all of the sample annotations for all of the cell lines. Inhibitor annotations, sensitivity to compounds, and mutation information are just some of these annotations. With this data, we can confirm DUSP6 overexpression in RAS-RAF wild-type cells that are sensitive to MEK inhibitors. In our export from the Garnet cell line study for DUSP6, we can plot all of the KRAS wild-type cell lines on the y-axis and DUSP6 expression on the x-axis, coloring these bars by sensitivity to the MEK inhibitor compound. From this plot, we see the trend of sensitivity indicated by the red bars 
and high expression of DUSP6, as indicated on the x-axis. We can then select our cell line models to test our compound in the new indication of KRAS wild type status samples. In summary, high value datasets and analyses continue to be added to Oncomine to drive the identification of biomarkers that can be used to select cell line models for further investigation and ultimately to select new patient populations that are more likely to benefit from the drug.